Cool. All right. If you look at it, so so you, if you look at this particular application, mm -hmm. I'm actually looking at it in terms of a plain web application that has web pages in which you could have sections of information, right? Yep. And um, it's basically more functionality oriented than it is basically what you would say a great UI uh, uh, sort of thing, right? Yeah, this is low fidelity. You're just trying to accomplish in these screens. You're accomplishing. You you know, what you should be able to see and basically what you should be able to do. Okay. So if you, look, if you even if you were to actually look at this application, um, I would like, so if you want to take a note down as to the screens that we need to immediately uh, concentrate on in terms of uh, uh, the layouts and everything. Okay. Maybe it might not. Which, would be so, the, which would be the most important screens? Are, are okay. they the ones with the circles on them? Um, so, so the circles was just to see how many screens I have. Okay. Okay. So, if you look at it, just go back up. Okay. I'm assuming that see, though uh, these pages are going to be simple enough for you, right? Yeah, we already have. Yeah, so we already have a generic login page. You like any login page so long as it has login ID and password. Um, we can come back and take a look at it later if you want to. Uh, but you yeah. want you don't want to put any extra work into a login screen. Everyone knows what that is. Uh, yes, and <laughs> uh, in the sense, like you know, just you need some you place to group, start. No, no, the, the, you. But you see that I do have a grouping headers and all those kind of things, right? You've uh, that calls. I, I see. Yeah, you've got a section right here, a container, an RF login yeah. container, and you have yeah. uh, was, two controls. Yeah, this was just to show that it was an RRF login. But okay. uh, that's fine. If you don't want to have that group, that's fine. Basically, but that's yeah. That's but that fits right with our. We have a standard. You have a container here, and your container is populated with an input, two input boxes, and you know three navigation things here. You hit, okay. and you hit anything in the sim. It moves you to the next one. Yes. And now uh, you see another control that um, that. You know, so what you did before disappears, and this one pops in. Mm -hmm. So um, this is kind, of, and this is, um, and so you would want to just have uh, just screen, basically uh, enhanced screenshots of this. You're not necessarily looking for like a user experience going between the two, right? No, no, I'm not. I okay. basically am looking to see that when people. When the developers actually look at the screens and they are starting to dialogue, they would say that, hey, can I have you know an HTML or something to start with, and which tells me what percentage size the uh, you know the screen sections have to be and all those kind of. You get what I'm saying? Yes, and, and in terms of that one, uh, I just wanted to make sure like one of the developers didn't realize like so the images um, aren't any uh, extra work. It's just a font. They just copy and paste it, and they can put them right inside the buttons. Um, mm -hmm. Just so you can see. That is, that, yeah, that is all between um, you know when you start working with the developers. But okay, I'm you don't need that for your uh, purposes. No, for in the sense like if we are making it into a better uh, uh, screen. Uh, then I think you might want to capture all that information and then pass it on to them. You get what I'm saying? Yes. Oh, here we are. Okay. Yeah, and I'll just have that uh, available. But that way, if, if there's something that are the same concept, we can. But anyway, so I'll, uh, that'll capture that for them. But ideally, if, if um, um, you click, on, you'll have a, you want a, an, uh, a UI that matches this, that you could click on and it does something. So if you look at it, um, three is needed, okay? Okay, three is three an important one. Begin yeah. with three. Yeah, in the sense like the other ones we can reuse. Yep. yep. It has to stay consistent with the the, the design patterns that I'm having. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is this screen is needed, okay? This is the audio delegate screen, so this screen is needed. Okay. Design a home, but you, you don't need to have you know these columns that are there. This was just for indications. But you which, uh, which 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 um, don't have. Four. Yeah, you're talking yeah, about so four. What columns? What do you mean? Yeah. So you can see that my left, the navigation menu uh, has to be there. 
Okay. You have to have okay. navigation yeah. right there on the left. That's right, yes. Okay. Okay, and then maybe what I missed out, uh, okay, so, um, and then when the home is clicked, you, we could actually show a page which says, uh, what do you would say, um, <laughs> home page under construction. Or something. A quick, um, quick thing uh, Thomas and I don't know what our we'll we'll find out when we start to put the sizes in here um, is it okay if, um, in the pattern if there's uh, if any of these happen to be longer than the width that we can just uh, use the abbreviation method where we put dots in the center and you mouse over and it gives you the full name like I'm thinking register okay. beneficiary potentially um, might take up more room in in is that are you open to things like that, or is it more important that it showed the words um, no matter what? Um, I think, you know, um, the, at one shot, uh, let them understand what they are doing. Okay. Uh, but um, if we, uh, do we want to make the menu itself then? Uh, yeah, you would say? yeah, I think, so well, yeah, or at least uh, if we could shorten the words a little bit, I, um, I think that would make the screen, it would give us more room. If, if somehow we could get rid of the word register or maybe register awardee part well, I, uh, actually uh, that's actually um, we can that's a, uh, a fine-tuning thing so I guess it doesn't matter at this point um, on some of the labels though I, I, I might when I'm done might have a couple recommendations just to shorten them or ways to shorten them so we could get more um, horizontal space out of the screen okay yeah you know uh, show some you know, show how you, as long as it, it is... It'll look like this first, and then I'll give you a couple other thoughts after this. Okay, okay. so, okay, four, uh, we we agreed that three is needed. Uh, four, uh, you know, basically the left screen needs to be there, the right area can be a space, right? Okay. Um, we have, uh, what you would say, five is important, okay? Okay. So five one. Okay. Sorry about that, uh, Tony. <laughs> no worries. My son just came back from uh, school and uh, okay. and doesn't want to play outside for some reason. <laughs> I know, horrible weather. <laughs> um, okay, so this this looks kind of familiar. So and basically, you want to kind of a uh, uh, at this. Uh, you know, tabs to, to kind of flip through all the different metadata on there. Um, are there any business rules that will, um, that, or any validation, on these on-screen validation that will need to um, come back to the user? Okay, so look at this this way. Um, the, all these organization name, doing business, all these are going to come from the database. Okay. Oh, those are read-only fields? No, 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 no. What I'm saying is, even the uh, um, you know, basically, what I was saying is, the the labels as well as the the type of field that is to be shown, yes, is coming in from the database. Yes, and okay. and yep, and so that and so certain types of the data, like you want, like the user has to type in in a certain way. Like are there like, for example, yeah, so, date of incorporation. Obviously, there needs to be you know that that's probably a date time in the database, and then the user you'd want them to do something special um, with that. Perhaps okay. does the date need to be greater than okay. today let, or let me, let me something like that? Say what I mean by this. Okay. So basically, what I'm looking for is if you look at the right part, uh, le left part of the screen, you have the main tab, and we mm -hmm. have tabs that run. Uh, horizontally, right at the top. Yes. Yep. Okay. Very, that's all that concerns. So you, the content that you are seeing, the label called organization name, it is not. There's no screen that I have, which will directly have this. Um, you know what you would say, statically put into the into the Java into the Java code there. This organization name itself is coming in from the database. Okay. So each the database I delete out organization name and I just say org name there the UI when it is rendered in this kind of a fashion it will actually say organization name 
and in the database it says organization name is a uh, you know capture that as a text box in which case the Java code will actually paint a text box okay so it is actually a data driven UI you get what I'm saying it's okay I, um, I think if, is, is it like a model v, that model view controller type concept uh, it's, it's it generates this UI dynamically based on what the database says it is and then the system says true. And then the yeah. system says, aha. And I was just saying, certain types of these, like um, it says, aha, that's um, that's a, a date time thing. And then it, um, I wasn't sure if it, they, it handles the verification. It, that comes uh, um, out of the back. So however it does its verifications, however we have it. So we don't need to design that. Okay. Or is that is that what I'm hearing? Like the data, it's uh, how a text box looks is predefined by the database so we can't control what it looks like no what basically you can control is you can say when when a screen uh, you can say that okay so let's can I say like I want it size 18 font so it's easier on the eyes like so it's easy for people with bad eyes to type in it can I control that okay. um, yeah you could okay uh, be a, if you tell the developers that's or they, uh, you know, they can use to make the UI better, then they can actually use it. Okay, yeah, so it won't change the functionality, but if we have some control over things like that, it's just a lot nicer to, it, less eye strain and people will like it better. So. Yeah. All right. So, so, that can, so, so let me see whether I can actually show you one Excel sheet where I have data so that you can understand what exactly I'm talking about. Okay? okay. Give me a second. Let me take... These couple of weeks are the busiest that I'm getting. Into. <laughs> well, this is a, uh, this is a, uh, it's if you're skilled, you can navigate through the uh, the holidays really well. It's uh, it's if you have really good hurry up and wait skills, this is a great time of year, <laughs> with uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas. So it's good for those one-off meetings. The wait a minute, I'm also running out of hours for the year. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hold on, let me see design consideration. Okay, Tony, if you can actually share, you know. Oh, switch um, the screen to you. Yeah. All right. Okay, so I am actually going to be, uh, show a data dictionary. Okay. So what I had the team build out is, see this? Mm -hmm. So the org info information that you saw is okay, right? Got it. I There's like a, name. and that's like if, if this were a parent child, every, all these element names will belong to the similar form name organization info. Uh, yes. Okay. So, so, so here, what this is, is actually saying is organization name. You know, when it is actually displayed, uh, it has to be you know, form display text is organization name. The type of input is a text box. Okay, doing business is a text box. Okay. Organization type is a pick list. The first in the list is actually for profit. Okay. I don't know, somebody made a uh, for profit. Okay. Um, hold on. <laughs> there it okay. is. The the second one is non profit. So these are the pick list values, the order in which they actually come back. Okay. Date of incorporation, see that? I said it's a date field. And then state of incorporation, the way it is actually form display is state of incorporation. Okay. And then the, this is a pick list. The order is actually given here. Okay, so there's an ordinal value. See, list value is there, and an ordinal. Ordinal value says in what order it has to be shown. Got it. Okay, so similar to this, every field in the table is actually filled in into this particular sheet. 
this whole whole application. Okay. Okay. These um these values do they um ultimately do these codes trace back to something like are you just using like the post offices list or something like that? Um, to a large extent, yes, but uh, there is no tie up with any external systems yet, right? Okay. I mean, not that contact stuff is going to change. I mean, not not like there's going to be a different state added to the union. I mean, um, so all right. And then, um, and then, yeah, there's nothing here in terms of. Uh, uh, are there any verification rules that you have captured at this point, or where are those um, on there? Like, um, you know, the. I I don't think there's a good example here, but if it's, for example, like a memo field or something like something that has a business rule where you have to fill it out, maybe an input mask. Um, do you have anything with an input mask rule, um, or not at this point? Just, the, just say that again, Tony. Sorry. Do you have any fields that have an input input mask rule um, or something like that? Um, like here, I'm seeing phone number. Is there an input mask rule that um, that the database requires, and should that, that be that, that, it, that is a format in which it has to come in? Yeah, and and should uh, the UI should be helping the user type it in the right way, so they know not to bother hitting the submit button if they haven't, you know, delimited with dashes or something, right? Yeah. So and and um, is that um, is that just kind of are those kind of spelled out? Are those left to be you know still be described? Like just um, if, if yes, it's not in the data it. sheet, you know it. Yeah. It, it, we still might need to describe it, so maybe show validation of how you validate a, a phone number on the UI and update the, the data sheet. Okay, so assuming that the uh, database says that telephone fees have to be validated okay, and there is a format in which it is shown, the okay. e, for example, uh, validation in the database says that date of birth should be uh, greater than 1900 or something like that. Yes. Then the UI will actually apply it. In terms okay. of the display format itself, I would say at this point the database might not uh, say it as such. Okay. But the Java application or something keeps track of the fact that if it's a date field, then the date format in which date should be captured is, let's say, uh, universal format. That is, you know, year comes first, month comes next, and then the day comes. Okay. Yeah, date and time is pretty standardized. I guess the only special ones, and we'll come up to it, maybe there are special numbers that you have for an LOI number or something like that that hasn't been standardized that uh -huh. somehow so, capture. Okay, so, I'm, uh, so you, good, good example. So if we say that whenever NPI is being actually captured, uh, first validation, ensure that NPI is a 10-digit number, right? Mm -hmm. Second is, is it a valid NPI, right? Yes. Which means that it, it, it goes through a lunch check. And yes, then, and we'd want to make sure that it, whatever, and I guess if it goes through some check, we'd want to know what the standard is for that guy to, so we could uh -huh. just make ours equal his. Okay, so when that actually happens, um, we might be invoking a web service that says validate this. Okay, and I uh, guess the most important thing, as long as ours is stored standard, um, if we we if we interface with the web service that uses a different standard, I'm, how can't be that big of a deal to translate it? I guess. No, the the okay. So, or you are talking about the actual string formatting that you are talking about? Yeah, um, like maybe that that NPI check doesn't want dashes in it and we have it with dashes and I guess as long as ours are stored consistently um, I think that, that is something which the UI will have to uh, force okay okay so let's get back to the screens though mm -hmm. okay um, okay are you seeing my screen you switched me back yeah yeah I did okay um, we are now actually on 19 and 20 so let's yeah that I think we we stopped at where were we at 
you can see that okay, I have a lot is, of screen. Yes, well, this is not, this is not a um, these are not small thoughts. <laughs> so, um, all right. So, register for awardees. So, I'm guessing in your data sheet there's something that's that would show that it's a register for awardees org info form. In so basically, what you would see is um, at least. The, the screen which says register awardee, you know that for sure in the database there are forms which says org info, contact, personnel, ownership, partnership, partners, others, etc. Right? Yes. But they, the UI that I'm looking for is where you would actually say the, when the tabs really have to be formed, this is how the, this is the area that the tabs would take, this is the area that the left menu would take. Mm -hmm. And as long as you have data in the database to create tabs, these tabs will show up here. Okay. And if if it goes beyond the width of the uh, the the tab, then typically you have a tab with with a button there, right? Uh, in a sense, like dots there, which say that you could keep extending it out, right? Okay. Yeah. So if if it's one of those, um, if if the tabs exceed the viewable area, we'll have some button there for an alternative view if you click it and you now can yeah, see it will, however it will, it will bring the tabs which are hidden into focus right yep got it that's what i mean yep so okay, and so and we'll um and that's and that's probably an edge use case but we'll put that in there so if that begs the question we got an answer um because what i'm saying uh, the reason why i'm saying it is Tony, what do you see as markets uh, region served? Okay, in this yes, where right I'm, yep. yeah. So this this is basically in terms of the grouping. If I looked at it, this was actually supposed to be a form like org info. Okay. This is because supposed to be a, this is supposed to be a form like uh, like what's that like number four? Yeah. Uh, no, no. Go back. Like the tab which says org info contact and all those kind of things. Yes. It was supposed to be like that. Are you saying? Just that, yeah. What was supposed to be uh, market region served was supposed to be another tab, or yes. is this a reusable component? Okay, so you you've cons you've tried to consolidate a little bit. Um, yes, that's right. When okay. the forms were a little small, I actually tried to create groups under a form and then create. Okay. Okay. Just so that you know the team doesn't get overwhelmed with all the day, you know, the forms that they have to build up. Yes, it's um well that's that's uh that's <laughs> that's the 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 trick on it. So yeah. but we'll we'll get all the fields and we'll you know we'll have them grouped and start kind of figuring out um yeah you know figure out the navigation. But basically, there's a lot of there's a lot of info that we'd like to capture. And then we just need to have a a, a good user experience because I'm guessing um, some items are you need to get done otherwise you can't make any progress and and other items are um, in terms of priority some are more important than the other I'm yeah. guessing so when I actually you know where, where I'm actually looking for, to get guidance on your side from your side is not on the data element per se that you see here mm -hmm. but more in terms of if you look at the pattern of screens, you would see that you know the left menu and the top tab menu, mm -hmm. okay, and then there is a screen area in which we are actually building out the uh, the information, right? If the information is longer, then it means that you will have a scroll bar on the side, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so having that in place, um, I would definitely like to have buttons that you think would be um, good to have in the sense like you know buttons that are already designed okay, okay. yep for clear edit save cancel all those kind of things right yes if there's then, if, use industry standard icons there just to help the users you know notice what yeah. edit is use the standard edit for an edit icon and all that stuff okay okay so i i wouldn't look for in these kind of buttons, I would look for, you know, you can have an icon uh, wherever they can use, but the icons are not the primary. The, the clear text is the primary. You know yes, clear text is primary, but um, you can put, and this is, uh, 
I think I just put this in right here. Uh, right here. You can put, you can even put them, there. it's just a font. So you can, all these icons can even go right inside the button if you want it more yeah, conservative. If you can do that, that would be great. So that way what you are doing is you are educating the user about the applications. Yeah, I'm just, icon. exactly. I'm going to teach them that this icon means edit because uh, from a UI part, um, the human eye, you recognize an image quicker than you read text for whatever reason. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, no. So, so basically, but the button itself, if I look at it, it's just you know, if it's an edit button, it's saying an edit button. No, buttons. I typically I'm not looking to have icons there. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, yeah. The uh, the the graphic is a complementary thing. You always have the word there, but the the graphic just helps you. If if you if there's a kind of repetitive thing, there's just some standard UI parts. But okay. you would want to have the words with the picture. Okay. Or is that what you're saying? Um, words always. The other words. one, yeah. if, it, if it makes sense, yes. Okay. Um, if I think that it's not actually becoming too you know, cluttered, then that's fine. Okay. So okay. Let's, okay. So go back. So that is one thing. And then, um, see, I'm looking to, okay, so... Basically, if you see that it's the same kind of a theme, the data is coming from the database. Grouping also information is coming from the database, so they will form groups there. Okay. Um, so what we are, from your side, what you are generally laying out is the button styles that uh, we are using, the screen area division into what goes into the left menu versus what goes into the the tab area and what is actually used for the data area, right? Okay. And then comes, I don't know about the table, so um, say for example 6, the table yeah. out here, see that? Yeah, I see the table where it looks like on the table you can do a, um, an inline behavior where you can just yeah, tell it to be a different type of address. Um, or you can lock the whole record and change it or something like that. Is this yeah, so, so this is basically <laughs> trying to show four rows where the address type was incorporation, primary, mailing, regional sort of thing. Okay. And, um, but if you look at the row action add delete, that is something where you can provide the icons for. You get okay. What I'm for add, um, the, there would be an add button somewhere around here that you could just hit add or I see. Yes. Yeah, so I don't know. So how exactly did the team, uh, in, what is your previous experience? Did the uh, the development team come with the UI or did you? Um, the development team has been going more towards the UI where just there's just kind of a standard pipe, uh, part. So like for tables, for example, these are a couple standards that we have. Um, yeah, same idea as a tab, but just a little bit different. Um, you know, like if you were to filter this example, they wanted to filter on statuses, so they had an icon here for the, your criteria there, um, and then just add new as a standard button. And it's not even a button; it, it's actually just a hyperlink. The developers thought that that was a picture because it looks like a picture, but it's not. It's a special character that's colored green, which you're allowed to have on the UI. It's I don't know if there's rules in the database for that, but um, from the UI, it's just a special character from Font, Font Awesome that does that function. So um, they're adapting this type of look. There's a couple different ways to do it. So um, one is you just simply have a, uh, a table with your information stacked on top of it, and then you have actions that you can take on top of it. There's like put in as many actions as you want, mm -hmm. and then if you wanted to, you know, filter on it. Um, you could type in the search criteria what you'd want, you know, what you're trying to search on, and it it operates like a unified search across this whole data string right here. Um, it can search across everything. So if, if your request ID was, you know, two, you know, or five twos in a row, you typed in five twos in a row, it would shrink it down. Um, if you type, you know, so you could put in some criteria in the query just queries everything that comes across here. The other type of control um, that we had in there is one where it's a, it's a three column. It's the team ultimately didn't seem like uh, this was 
um, this one didn't seem to take, but this is where hypothetically you could select a bunch of different rows, but because of the um, how it's, this is vertically organized, it's not all that practical, but you could click a button and it would select each row. Presumably you could do some grid action. So, um, but on both of them, keeping add new at the uh, bottom of the table and just kind of having a fixed area for how much it's allowed to scroll. And then we, we save the horizontal space just by, by stacking it. Um, it's kind of what we did. And that way, once you identify the record you want to do something with, you always just move to the right and you pick, you know, this, you could do six different actions um, right here and you already know which one you're working on. So this was kind of our, our approach. Um, and this is a, I guess this is a width of 645, which means you could have two tables depending on what your needs are. Um, you could have, you could easily fit two of these side by side if for some reason you needed to work, if you needed to reference both data sets at the same time. And I, I can't think of an example um, offhand uh, for... Yeah, so I'm actually not looking to build a portal application. Okay. okay. Sure. Um, well, anyways, that was a uh, that was just kind of the the design. Yeah. Like, so just add new at the bottom. So mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be a a portlet, but it's good if it's kind of if if you um, restrict how much it scrolls, then the user will always see that add new as an option. Um, it doesn't have to be a a portlet, but if you uh, if you fix the 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 width and the size, it seems to be a little bit easier, but. Um, yeah, so show me um, the first of the, uh, you know, the, uh, the tab, the tables that you can actually, you know, show me. The tables? Okay. Um, let me pull up to... I think we had a very similar kind of a thing initially when we talked about reusable framework and then I think the the concept was the same, but it was slightly. Done Sorry, slightly talking about um, trying to, similar to the, which one? Uh, like this thing, we had something. We had a couple, like this. Um, and one of the reasons why the icons useful is when you start to define security. You know, people might not know what an add new role is or something like that is, but you can start kind of having icons of the functions of what you can do. Um, and so maybe if you're on a screen where it's like an admin or something like that, just because there's so many functions in there, um, you could just go with an icon, look across the top, and you just mouse over it. And this is whitelist, blacklist. Um, so we we developed some of the screens on this. So we we're starting to. work on these. Um, we have... Yeah, so these screens I'm actually, once you uh, put them into the Word document, I'm actually looking for that. The other thing is, okay, so go back to the uh, the table that I was, so these tables I'm, you know, um, Oops. I, would, I, w I would typically, if you can build something which is Okay, so so go go look at the table that I uh, had. Um, Which uh, uh, the Excel okay, spreadsheet that was on your computer. I didn't don't have that one. No, so so that uh, see that one seven. Seven. Let me go to seven. Okay, so right. so so six and seven. Okay, if you look at it. Yes. Um, um, if you look at it, uh, the same kind of a thing, right? That is, yeah, you're starting to kind of vertically stack it a little bit on address. Yeah, so so if you look at it, the type field uh, is actually a pick list for that mm -hmm. particular row. You selected the type yeah, there, mm -hmm. then you entered the name, position, and then when you came to phone, it had the concept of that table which said, uh, I can add n number of things, right? Yes, yep. Yeah, it's like a hierarchical type of thing. Yes. Yep. So. Either you can enter one or you can enter n there, n numbers. Yes. Yep. And and so and and that's where there's there seems especially in a relationship database like that that almost forces you to have that type of design. Um, uh -huh. 
you know, how many contact, you know, do you just have one contact or do you have many contacts? Oh, shoot, I have many contacts. So it almost seems like you always have to have that design of add new. And when you click add new, it's going to say, well, what type, you know, this one it's going to ask you two questions. What type of phone and what is that number? Yeah. Um, this one with it add new says, oh, you're talking about an address. Uh, I need from you six pieces of information. And, you know, if you're to back this one up, this whole um, record, which is, you know, kind of grouped one hierarchy above, if there's a button here called add new, okay. it would so, say. So this, is where, yeah. this is where, from the database, it would say that personal and delegate, this type will say that these are the, these are the different types that you can have. When you come to the phone there, it will actually tell you what kind of phone uh, 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 types that you can have, right? Mm -hmm. And in the address also, it will tell you residence, all those kind of things, and then you can have yep. those categories. And presumably, it would, it's, it'll show something as a default, or something like assuming that the average is office or something. But Yeah. Um, the, in, in the... Uh, dictionary that I showed, there is something called a default specified also. Okay. Oh, good. And so as this gets uh, created, obviously, you you know, you can't really add up. I, I don't know how the database is set up, but I'm guessing the person needs to be saved before he can have a phone number saved with him. And that's where you're going. Um, no, right. Not necessarily. In the sense, like, it can all go in one shot. Okay. Um, he would have already existed in the database because the fact that when he comes and he's asked to certify himself, um, you know, certify that he's associated with this, but it doesn't necessarily have to be that way. Now, on any of these, are there any friendly warnings or something like that um, on referential integrity things like, hey, FYI, someone else is using this office number? Yeah, not saying that we aren't going to save it, just thought we'd let no. you know. No. Um, nothing of that sort. Okay. Okay. So, can you get me, uh, you know, one or two overall layouts, um, you know, ready, and then how soon can you give it to me? Um, good question. Well, I, on this one, some of the layouts here, we have the the view is pretty good. We don't have like a um, uh, a data. So let me, uh, could I think about this between now and our meeting tomorrow? I just kind of took this in there because I guess yes. my thought, my initial thoughts, but after I look through this, I might, they might go away. I might just need to take this in. It seems like some of the, um, there are some view screens that are already done, which means there's not a whole, you know, all I have to do is basically copy, put a, put some pre-existing style on there, and I could probably get a reaction from you without much effort. And then there are other screens where it it kind of it seems like it would uh, like the add new button like I'm going to need to invent a couple behaviors there. So let me take a a quick peek, just kind of run through, think about it, and then prepare for tomorrow's meeting to answer that question. Um, and the highest priority begins at uh, three. Uh, none of the other ones drop off, but um, you would be. You would be delighted if you had a perfect understanding of seven, and you probably wouldn't even need, you know, if you had a choice between getting number seven done or getting number one done, you pick number seven. So I'll, yes, number seven uh, will will which be is the, more. Uh, in fact, you can which is the hardest important. one? What would be the hardest one? That way, if we do that one, we can use this at our our estimate. I, I think this would be the uh, harder one, right? Because of the seven. fact that it has, yeah. Okay, and that is, is that similar to this at all? Uh, wait a minute. To see. Be. This thing right here, is it kind of an extension of this? Yeah, OD delegate information is what we were talking about, right? Okay, okay, but we weren't, this is, this has something, this has model configuration, and yours is, um, the actual screen that comes out when the Awardee delegate starts using. Ah, okay. This one right yeah. here. Um, mm -hmm. Is that related to this one? Perhaps? No, no, no. no, no. This no. is actually setting up the, uh, so this is actually the reason, or we started off on what you call the model creation functionality under 
reusable admins control. Which okay. The reason why I've been asking for the screenshot is if you send me this, I can actually go ahead and then start, um, you know, building out more. Okay. And then putting it into the so so you have the other PDF which says reusable uh, framework. And yes. Well, I'm just trying to see if there just you know as I go through if there's any of if we've done any of this stuff before if any of this wheel exists before. <laughs> I wanna. I think I did show you something previously, but I don't know whether you ever made it. There is a. I've got a ton of stuff here. I think. Are you in office or? No, I'm not in the office today. I'll be in the office tomorrow. But there is a. I've got just tons of things from this and some are like named from Thomas for Thomas where it's like well, there's a uh, I'm trying to see so um, uh, here this one right here is that related is any of this stuff related uh, no, so this table is more uh, related to the workflow that I was actually showing for, and I'm telling you, the landing page has been a big disappointment. Landing page has been a big disappointment? Yeah, no, I know. You know. In the sense, like the whole way they have actually built this thing. There has been some frustration there. So I think it, it's just a big learning curve. Um, even understanding with that, with uh, that, that team to me has that team to me has gone wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if there was a, if they were. Um, well, all I know is it's uh, they are still in the I guess the forming or whatever it is. But no, no, no. I, I you know I gave them all the rope that they needed. Their you know the captain and everybody is crazy. <laughs> Well, the whole application is now non-scalable, and and, it, and it, the original reason why I went in and you know went along with Greg and we sold the whole concept, all those things have been undermined. So when I look at it and say, okay, hey, so I think are, for undermining, they would, you would have to have a higher quality team to undermine. I think it's more like uh, there are a couple things that are just uh, there's the junior high team that's being called in to play big league baseball, and I'm not sure if there's anyone that's ever oh, no, had. That, 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 is, that is one thing, and also uh, the fact that you know the uh, no, you could always see. I had given all the screen, so you could you know uh, whichever way you build it out, you could build out the functionality the way you uh, you know I would have given to them. You know, slight uh, look and feel differences, I would, but the functionality itself is sort of like you know not where I wanted to. <laughs> I don't think it's where anyone wants to be, but um, oh, but let me just circle back. Any of this related? This stuff right here, awardee organization con contract info. See, Any of this look related? At the, the organization executive information. Yes. Is so any of this reusable? Uh, you could, in the sense, like that would be one of the types of uh, contact that is there, and then. Um, we, yeah, and we were trying to figure out, like, so my thought was, oh, I think here, like, uh, we could just have people, like, a a small view of the person, almost like a business card, and then if you wanted to see exhaustive inf information that we, you know, we didn't put on there, like, let's say he has, like, 10 different phone numbers, but we just have a business card view. If you wanted to see his 15 different phone numbers, you could hit view, and that shows you, like, the the everything in the bucket view like this. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that, but no, when the information is being entered, uh, is it being entered in the table? Yeah, so when you're entering the information, you have the opportunity to put everything in the bucket. You know, okay. huge, you know, huge amounts of data, but then, um, and we could kind of, maybe we could indicate what are the, um, you know, fields that are going to be on the business card or, or whatever that, that concept is. That way, it's it's nice and clean. You can, and it's it's kind of like the look and feel as if you had, if you were looking at five different business cards, you could easily look at five different business cards of the people who are important to the organization, and they just stack up. 
but um, all right. But that wasn't any of those things that we were working on. Uh, okay, so um, yeah, try that one. Um, you know, and give me so that will give me an early uh, view into whether you know this this would work or I just actually just have the. Uh, developers uh, sort of build out some kind of a control to actually, you know, take care of all the things that is needed. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, like this market location identifier. Um, any of that's just a you, you just that just comes pre-populated from the database. Um, yeah, in the sense like the, both the label as well as the field value. If you look at it. Um, Go back to my PDF, and you would see that the PDF uh, there's a market segment that we previously uh, looked at, right? Just go back up. Right here. Mm -hmm. Yep. So in the database, look at it this way: there is a uh, market region served, which is if it's a different form, it is called a market region served form. There would be a state, um, you know, what you would say. Uh, form field and the domain of values would be the 50 states in the United States or how many over that they have. Count D, all those kind of things. And so it's basically coming in all from the database. Yep. This, so this, this is me, this is, uh, is this repository stored someplace else? And at the end of the day, it's... So if in the database, I take out the entries for market region served, then this, this won't even appear, actually. Right? Okay. Um, I might need... That's what I was saying. It's data-driven. Okay. That'll make more sense, I think, after I've uh, got the UI out. Let me... Um, but for tomorrow, um, let me kind of uh, put some thoughts specifically on number seven, assuming that that's the most complicated one. Um, I'll put my thoughts um, in terms of effort, yada, yada, yada. Um, on number seven, and then we can use that as a baseline to, you know, extrapolate across to everything else, because I would assume um, that if this is the hardest, there's whatever whatever we create for seven could perhaps be reproduced for the other screen, so it would become... Yeah, but, but uh, would you uh, at least be able to give me the left uh, menu type and the uh, the the oh. scroll, uh, sorry, the tab structure on the top. Oh, is just those controls? Is... Sure. Oh, yeah. So if, if you want to break it out, just uh, controls, like what's the effort to make the controls on the left-hand side? I'm I'm thinking what I would do for that. I've got a design right here. And I, you know, and you might actually this one get right here. Out. I would take that type of, and this, by the way, is a font. Um, but my that uh, I would use this type of design for. Uh, you you might find yourself being pulled increasingly into reusable frames. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm trying to do that to save myself some time here. So, but but yeah, so my thought is, um, if you want a left hand nav, this is kind of the the design mm -hmm. here. The and why I, the reason why I was asking you on this size, if we can agree, make some agreements that uh, I forget what the width is, um, then this uh, means that this could, I would like this to be the width of a cell phone screen. That way, just hypothetically in the future, not saying that you would, um, but that exact same shape could just be reused, and you could do, you know, app, you know, mobile application navigation, but. No, uh, neither here nor there. I, I could make a, a design just like that, put it right here, and perhaps put in some other controls. I would, you know, if you think about it, you could put some controls in there that give you feedback. Um, like, did you? Is there work for you to do and register awardee or provider or something like that? Um, so I'll give you a couple of designs. One that looks just like this, and then um, you know, a couple other thoughts on it. So um, yeah. let me. Uh, so I will. I will have a. Uh, let me. So let me yeah. kind of break down what I think the work will be. Think about it. But for our meeting tomorrow uh, with JC Dus, um, we'll be there too. Um, I could put out my thoughts and then attack my straw man. 
Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, but uh, just uh, just make and uh, see the area above the tabs where you uh, have yes. information, some yep. audit related information showing up, and like user Joe, yeah. So that kind of a space also needs to be left. So sure. And now, my concept, if I were to hook this up to IC, the innovation center, I would want this to actually show in 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 an iframe. Okay. Okay. You would want and this whole, you would want this whole thing to show up in an iframe, not separate these little parts into bin, no. independently. No, 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 no. I want this that application is running in 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 the iframe, and in the sense like that is how it is being rendered over the IC. Okay, and okay. not not three instances of it, not a navigation part, a display part, and a data entry part. Oh, no, no. Okay. No. It is all one so, piece. So what I show here as a as a web application, right? The whole thing, the web browser. Mm -hmm. So the you know the that is actually I'm assuming that that would actually show up in an iframe. Okay. Now, if that's going to show up in an iframe, um, I'm just thinking of that design. Oh, so um, again, I, I I might just have a couple ideas on on behavior if this whole thing shows up in an iframe there's a there's a concept because um, one of the designs that you use to overcome this issue that I think we might have is uh, with crowding this it's called like kind of a, a parallax design where there might be a, a still a short view of this menu so if you and then it can expand out kind of like the um, a little bit here I mean not exactly but um, you see how there's a menu here on the left hand side but then it I don't like this show hide exactly, but um, mm -hmm. something like this where we're going to have to do something to... As long as it doesn't break 508. <laughs> All right, we'll try not to break 508. So, mm -hmm. sounds good. Well, it, it, won't, it won't be a visual that breaks the 508. It'll be the lack of the audio. But, um, okay, so, but yeah. anyway, so let... Um, let me take this as our as a, a straw man. Think through this one, and then um, I'm going to just see how many things are brand new that we're really inventing here, and how many things we can reuse. Um, if but perhaps like these tabs, if we've already made tabs that are what you're thinking of, then we can reuse that, or maybe we just need a a slight variation of what we have. So um, let me put some thoughts on that, and then. Um, I'll be in the office tomorrow. We can connect on this. Okay, all right. I will be in and I'll be out too because I have I have to take my wife for some, you know, quite a few appointments actually. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, sounds all right, good. But I'll catch you soon. I'm in. All right. Catch you tomorrow. Or, uh, catch you tomorrow, or at the very least, um, I'll be at that. Uh, there was some meeting. I think at eleven o'clock. Jason asked called it for us. Okay. So, but yeah, I'll, I'll be at that meeting too. So, all right, man. See you, uh, see you tomorrow. Yep. Thank All you. Right. See Bye. You. Bye.